Yeah, this is entirely self-indulgent. I'm not even going to pretend it's anything else. Uh, but I actually do kind of have a reason for doing this. You see, I absolutely loved this game as a kid. You got to run around as Pikachu, playing mini games with so many different Pokemon. Like, what's not to love? Then about two years later, we got the sequel, Poke Park 2 Wonders Beyond. And for the longest time, I considered Poke Park 2 to be the most disappointing video game sequel I have ever played. <laughs> and I, I know that's a bit extreme for a kid's game, but <laughs> I I that's... That's how I felt at the time. I I thought that Poke Park 2 took several steps back from the original and just wasn't as good ov overall. Uh, but, you know, I started doing that thing you do when you get older where you kind of start reevaluating your opinions for lack of a better term. And then it hit me. I haven't played this game in over a decade almost. Now, that sounds like I'm exaggerating, but I'm not really. This game came out in tw in 2010. We're approaching the 10-year mark for this game. So that means the last time I played this was 2010 2011, 2012 at the very least. That's a really long time! So if it wasn't obvious yet, the whole point of this Let's Play is to go through the game and see if it's as good as I remember it or if I'm just blinded by nostalgia. And seeing as the last time I played this game was when I was 13 or 14, well, that is a very real possibility. But yeah, we're going to play through the game uh, and see what happens. It's also going to be a good chance to work on my solo commentary again, seeing as on streams I usually have like the chat to interact with. And I've also had one project in, in the works for a while that I'd like to get out there, and I just don't think my commentary is quite up to par yet. And before any of you say that I have free, unfinished Let's Plays I could use as practice, this is the one time that I'm going to unironically tell you to shut up. Again, this is self-indulgent, so we're going to try and work on that by doing <laughs> what I do best. Gushing about cute Pokemon. Like Mew here. So I guess we I guess we should go over the plot or what little there is. Basically, Mew has summoned slash kidnapped Pikachu and his friends to find the pieces of the Sky Prism, which is this ancient stone that protects the park from itself, I guess? I don't know actually, because the only consequence that Mew mentions is that the Sky Pavilion will fall on the park, so... What's the point of the Sky Prism? <laughs> it, is it basically just the Master Emerald from On Angel Island? <laughs> That's a weird thing to think about, actually. You're not from around here, eh? S say what, me? I'm Shadow. I'm the Poke Park Guide. Talk to me whenever you have p questions about the Poke Park. Say what? You're looking for your friends? Charmander, Piplup, and Chikorita? Heck, I haven't seen them. I don't know why they chose Charmander, Piplup, and Chikorita specifically. I, I remember. I, I actually remember a friend telling me, oh, well, it's because it's based off of all of Ash's. Partner Pokemon. 
Ash never had a Piplup! <laughs> like, Dawn had a Piplup, and this is clearly a Gen 4 game, but <laughs> that's not one of Ash's Pokemon. <laughs> then there's the whole problem with continuity that. You know, Charmander would be a Charizard by now, and Chikorita's still Chikorita. <laughs> so, first thing you might notice while playing this, it's a 3D game that uses the D-pad. I did not like it when Metroid Other M did it, but I remember not having a big problem with it in this game, so I guess we'll... We'll see if I rage about that later on. Right, controls. One to dash. Miss the crate entirely, jeez. When you break crate, you'll sometimes find berries and items. Green berries are worth ten berries. Berries will become apparent later. You broke open the crate, but now can you jump? To the jump. The longer you hold the button, the long the higher your jump. Basic platformer controls, basically. So you can dash and jump. You're incredible. <laughs> Poke Park has many ways to have fun. Everyone enjoys skill games. You play skill games with other Pokemon. The most popular skill game is called Chase. Chase is just Tag. I don't know why they didn't just call it Tag. Is Tag is Tag trademark? I doubt that. But now we gotta play Tag of Chatot. Not too hard, basically tutorial. And Pikachu does a little victory dance. <laughs> Made me feel a little dizzy. How hard did you hit him, Pikachu? Jesus! You're full of energy, aren't you? I am an electric mouse. You can play Chase no problem. <laughs> I am so good at tag that you've given me berries. Two good things happen when you finish a skill game with a Pokemon. The first is that you'll make friends. If you want a skill game, the other Pokemon will become your friend. Making a new friend is a wonderful thing. You and I are friends now. <laughs> All I had to do was give you a mild concussion. Second good thing is berries. We still don't know what berries do. On um, little Benary's here. It is so nostalgic for me to see these Gen 4 Pokemon. Because, like, Gen 4 was basically my my childhood generation. Like, I started with Gen 3, but Gen 4 was really where my love of Pokemon took off. Like, Diamond and Pearl, Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Oh my god, even. Even Pokemon XD had some Gen 4 Pokemon. <laughs> wow, I didn't realize that Gen 4 influenced me way back then. Speaking of Gen 4 Pokemon from XD, well, Munchlax is in XD, that's why I say that, because it's Evolution Snorlax is blocking our way. You can do the Zappy attack, right? <laughs> so that... That's interesting. Press B to look at the nearest Pokemon. It's a little finicky sometimes. I'm pressing it right now. It's not really focusing on anyone. Yeah, it's just defaulting to Pikachu's... to Pikachu's front. Like, you have to be really close to focus on them. It's like... You're so close to them, You why would you need to focus on them? 
Anyway, let's hold down the A button. I thought he went Pika as he charged up. <laughs> I can go play po in the Poke Park. See you there. Strongx, do you actually say anything? Nope. Why does I tackle you? <laughs> Hold up. This is for science. <laughs> right then. Shout out what more do you have to say? I have something to give you. You received the Poke Park pad. As you make friends, their names will appear in the Poke Park pad. You know the best thing about the Poke Park? Better than anything? It's making so many friends. We well, made a new friend, open up your pad and check it out. Filling the pad with the names of all the Pokemon here will be tough. How many Pokemon are there actually now that I think about it? Uh, let's see. Well, there's my profile pic there. Friends list. Uh. There's 193 Pokemon in this game, huh? Shoutouts our only friend. I guess. I guess helping Baneri clear out that Snorlax was not <laughs> friend material. <laughs> you can save your game. Pikachu stats. Just basic stuff, pretty much. <laughs> yes, we saw your name. Picture of the Poke Pad shows up shows by the Pokemon's name that Pokemon is already your friend. When you become best friends, the picture of the pad will have rainbow colors. So yes, if it's just pink, that means they're just your friend. But if it's rainbow colors, then they're your best friend. Talk to me whenever you want to know something. Read some trainer tips. <laughs> Just this way of the poke park, talk to chat if you want anything. Sure do. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the poke park. Pretty nice looking for a Wii game, I'll say that much. The Wii had some very interesting graf graphics, depending on what, what game you, you were playing. Say what you will about Xenoblade. <laughs> Those graphics were a mess sometimes. They call this place the Poke Park. We're in what they call the... Meadow zone. Yes, there are multiple zones. <laughs> I love this place. Did you know I'm a grass type? When you come to the Poke Park, you can't miss the attractions. If you touch the Pokemon by the attraction signboard, you can play. Objective complete. You found Chikorita. And now I've lost her again. Damn it, Chikorita. Stay close to me for two seconds. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Just focus on that chat odd. Here 
Mary invited you to attraction. I see. Why don't you try it out? Are you gonna let me explore further up? Well, this game is surprisingly open-ended. <laughs> it's more open-ended than than most Pokemon game than the main Pokemon game openings. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm saying that. Venusaur's guard is watching the bridge. That means I can't bring my friends over. They're so strict about strangers. Friendly place, I see. Alright, might not be as open-ended as I thought. You know, across the bridge? No way. Venus, sort of the keeper of the zone, told me not to let a stranger cross. If you haven't cleared Bulbasaur's daring dash, how can you challenge Venusaur? All right. There's a Krogunk over there for some reason. Oh, Leafeon! Oh, how cute! Oh, I... I love the Eevee Lucians. Come back when you've made 20 friends. For some reason, the Eevee Lucians want you to make a lot of friends before you can play with them. Ah, uh, just as I praise the graphics, I find something a bit flat. Oh, that's fine. Ooh, a nice little playground over here. The heck? Oh, right, Bonkin and the trees get to berries, too. I'll have to remember that. I heard a Spiro somewhere. Oh. Ah, I'm watching over this obstacle hop. The answer, the zone keeper asked me to. So am I not allowed to go up? No, I'm allowed up here just fine. Oh come on, really? Ooh, that looks that looks like an orange berry. Oh how much was that? Uh, one, two, three, Fifty berries, wow, okay. Keep an eye out for those then. Oh, do these ones not drum? Oh, no, they do. <laughs> Alright, let's go check out that attraction that Chikorita wanted us to. Oh. Oh, Turtwig! Oh my god, the... The nostalgia! Uh, Tur Turtwig was my Gen 4 starter, which honestly isn't too big a surprise if you know me. I I was I picked the grass starter almost all almost every time. The only exception was uh, Fennekin in X and Y. Bulbasaur's daring dash, a fast and frantic foot race. You'll need five berries to play. All right. Do you want to play my attraction? I'm afraid you can't. There are rules here in the Meadow Zone, you know. You can't play the attractions. You can't go to the other zones. Let me think. Maybe you should play in... Maybe you could play in secret? That way, Venus or the Zone Keeper might not find out. Okay. I'll let you play. Don't tell anyone. What a waste to have attractions that you can't play. Such a strange rule. Why don't we just play it, Pikachu? Everyone runs when playing my attraction. You'll clear it if you finish inside the goal time. Normally you need five berries to play 
Bulbster's daring dash. I won't charge you for a while. For a while, though. You're the first customers in ages. Okay, fair point, but at the same time, why would you say... Why would you give us uh, an attraction that doesn't need berries when you can't miss the, the ten berries that Shadok gives you? Wanna play Bulbasaur's Daring Dash? Sure. And this is what I loved about this game so much. The attractions were so much... I remember being so much fun. Shake the Wiimote to start running. And look at all of these Pokemon you can play as. It's so good! Like, there's just so many of them. I, I have to count these, hang on. One, two... Twenty-five Pokemon you can choose from once you make friends with them. I actually have to stress that. Uh, like, that's insane! And that's... That's why... That's one of the reasons why Poke Park 2 was such a disappointment for me. You only had four Pokemon to choose from, and it was the same Pokemon every time. Here, you got a favorite? Play as them. Nothing's stopping you. <laughs> uh, they all have a uh, different bonus time because they all run at different speeds. So I could see why they restricted it to four Pokemon with the same stats, but at the same time, like, that was part of the charm. So here we go. I apologize if you hear my wrist strap clapping. 8.15. Oh, more than enough for the bonus. And the bonus is 100 berries. Let me just put my wrist strap on before I forget. Because that might get annoying later. Well done, you cleared it. You, di you did this time, and I have a tip for you. The friends you make for skill games can play attractions. And when a friend of yours clears the attractions, it counts for you. The rule is that if your friend clears it, you've cleared it. <laughs> That's gotta be weird for if you have, like, hundreds of friends. That's because you're friends, by the way. <laughs> this is for you. <laughs> you received a prism piece. Is it pretty? It fell from the sky while I was working, while I was watching the attraction. You spoke to me in a dream, do you? Wanna well, know what he said? He said that I must give this to whoever clears my attraction. So it is yours now. I could see the argument of like... Of like... They're holding on to something that's... That would help their park, like... Like the Piantas with the Shine Sprites, but... I mean, Mew gave them strict orders, so... I can't fault them here. Did you just play the attraction? Don't you know the rules? You can't play the attractions in this zone. Remember now, I'll have to take you to Venusaur. Oh no, please don't. Oh my god, why? She wasn't playing! Why though? She wasn't playing! It is this a bargaining chip for... for me? <laughs> Alright. Somehow it's my fault. <laughs> you took the wrong person, you idiot. You played, the, you played the attraction when you weren't supposed to. You even cleared it. That was really naughty. What, Chikorita? She's with Venusaur, of course. It's on the other side of this bridge. Do you want to cross it? Hmm, let me think. If Turtwig receives the bonus in Bulbasaur's Daring Dash, I'll let you cross. He's so slow to that that I don't think that's possible. Wow, okay. 
I mean, it's true, he's a turtle, he can't run very fast, but still. Oh, hey, Munchlax, I didn't even see you there. So hungry, I can barely stand, I smell a big berry inside the crate. Uh, yeah, game, you already taught me how to break crates. Or, was that seriously just so you could teach me how to pick things up? Oh my god, look at him. Okay. Big Barry looks like yummy, will you give it to me? <laughs> Can I be your friend? Pope Park has many kinds of berries. Green berries, which are 10, red berries, which are 50, and I believe the golden berries are 100. <laughs> golden berries are very rare. That's it. <laughs> oh, Tro Tropius is here. Tro Do you guys pronounce it Tropius or Tropius? I've been pronouncing it Tropius for years, but I could see it being... I could see it being Tropius, too, since he's kind of a tropical tree... If we play chase and you catch me, then I'll play the attraction. Why are you making this so complicated? Uh, oh, b because it's a... F you have you have to do this to make friends? <laughs> okay. Go get him, Turtwig. Oh, I think I hit him too hard. How you blew me away. I feel like I'm still flying through the air. Pikachu, you gotta let up. Pokemon may even come here once they've heard. I'm your friend now. I want another thing. I can play Bulbasaur Steering Dash for you. Hmm, what else? I almost forgot to have some berries as a token of our friendship. I'm friends with Turtwig now. Oh, Pachi Risu! Uh, all the Gen 4 Pokemon! <laughs> oh my god, it's so... <laughs> I feel like I'm repeating myself, but... Like I said, Gen 4 was was my nostalgic Pokemon game. My brother and I came here to play, I really want to go everywhere, but they say the Poke Park is huge. Sure, let's play Chase. No Pika clone can beat Pikachu. OG for the win. <laughs> uh, I'm curious about something. Yeah, play with me again. I want to see something. OG strikes again. Nope, you're you're still just my friend, okay. Guess it's gotta be a while before we're best friends. Wait, Bulbasaur, why are we best friends? I'm confused, okay. Yes, we saw how bonuses work. I got it the first try. Venusaur saw all the Pokemon of the Meadow Zone having fun. Would he think it's okay to play attractions again? Yes. Game, we've been over this. Pikachu's not the only one who can play attractions. Sorry, but this is stuff you could piece together just by looking at this screen. All right, Turtwig.
Go, Turtwig! Show Trico who's boss! Eat my dust, boys! More than enough, alright. Look at the two little shinks there. We could play again and pick another Pokemon, but I think we're a little over time now. Yeah, I'm gonna end the episode here. We haven't gotten very far here, but it's a... It's a start. At least we can see what the Poke Park was like. So I guess next time we're gonna... Go and see Venusaur. Uh, take it easy and stay positive, everyone.